is Dope Book of Father Zone. We are here doing a quick little video. I am alone in the house, so I'm going to go on one of my quick little video of um uh, how to how to do a LAN party on both computers. The internet guy has not come yet, he's supposed to come today. This is a Monday. And um uh, very simply, we have no internet. Which means that how on earth are you gonna play your video games multiplayerly that are like hard to play? Well, here we have a standard Ethernet cable. I got this one for free from a from a company. This one, I uh, have a big long one down there that I just found. I got for for like running a really long distance, and we have a Wi-Fi router. This thing. Is a I forgot I went through the fire. It still boots up. It still works. And today, what we are going to do is we are going to go and make a LAN party because I'm going to be starting these LAN parties at my house where everyone brings their own computer. We did. Me and my friend uh, Hunter, go check him out on YouTube. He is um uh, me and him. We did we did this just a couple of days ago. See a proof of concept and it worked great. So we're going to do this on a bigger scale. So now, so now what we're gonna go do is I'm gonna jump over to my computer and then we'll see what's gonna happen. Okay. All right. As you can see, we are on my desktop and what a mess it is. Anyways, as you can see, I have my game already running down here. We are playing the first edition of Halo Combat Evolved, the first edition of Halo. It's because it's a very fun game and I like it. And um uh. It's old enough to it's old enough for this feature works, where it has LAN mode. Other games like the first Call of Duty or maybe even Call of Duty Black Ops One might have this. But I digress. Anyways, the first thing you want to go do is you want to have both your if you're just doing with this with two computers, what you want to do is you want to have an Ethernet cable. What you want to do is you want to go and you want to have both your computers, both your computers. Plug, unplug from the internet and plug into each other with an ethernet cable or an internet switch. This also works but it's interesting. Now my computer what I had to do was they didn't work they didn't work if the um, uh, if the um, uh, if the um, uh, the host computer was plugged into was plugged into where like the internet router is supposed to be on the Wi-Fi router where like the the internet's supposed to come in and then the other ports come out. It didn't work like that. It may you think it might have a different thing, but oh well. Anyways guys, what you want to do is you want to go down and you want to click on Windows and R and you want to go and you want to type in ncpa.cpl. It's right down there already. Press enter. And it brings you to your network connections in your control panel. Well, you want to go and you want to right click on that and click on properties. Then you want to go and you want to go to your internet protocol and you want to go and click want to go and click on properties. Look for this one. Look for wait, yeah, look for internet protocol version 4 TCP PV4. This one you want. Then you want to go and you want to change. We'll go and we'll take this out and put this back in. We'll type in 192.168.15.1. And then click over here and click 10. And then this right here will automatically give you the sudden hit mask right there. And leave your default gateway is blank. I click OK. Then click close. Now what you want to do on the other computer, you have this to the exact same thing, but for those last two numbers, pre type in 11 or 12 or some other number in an interval of between uh, 1 and 20. Yeah, I think it has to be a two digit number, like zero one or something. It'll still work, but if it doesn't, just do up from ten, which will be good. Just do like that. You want to click out of this, and you want to tap on Windows R, and you want to type in Firewall. Now, for some reason, the Windows Firewall does not let this happen, so I've already have it off. But you want to go to where it says. Here, when turn Windows Fire Defender Firewall on or off. Now, for Windows 7, it won't say Defender; it'll just say turn it on or off. But it'll be up here. Click down here. And click down here. 
right there where a little X is, and then click OK. I already have it off because I was just doing this. Same thing on the other computer. Just do all this, and then finally, what you want to do is you want to go to Windows R. Type in P I N G space one nine two dot one six eight dot fifteen dot ten dash T. This right here, this right, this right here, will make your companion pump pump up, and it and it will go and be start sending signals between each of the computers, which very simply will go and send out ping. Yeah, I, I let it sit here and let it get all the way down to the bottom, but your mileage may vary. But uh, yeah, now what we're going to go and do is, uh, as you can see, no internet, no internet down here at all, no internet. See, I got no internet down here, which means perfect. All right, that seems to have worked. Now, if we go click down here, we should have identified no internet network. Uh -huh.